What's up guys, Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another mail opening video. This time I got quite a few of these bastards. I have one, two, three, four, five, six of these motherfuckers. Uh, a lot of them came in today. Um, there are still uh, eight of them that are outstanding, because I received one yesterday, and I received these six today, so that's seven, and I had 15 total that I'm expecting, because uh, I got hooked on TCG Player, so I have things coming from everywhere. So anyway... Um, just, uh, just gonna be opening each one of these, uh, these on, um, on camera, because protection is cool. Um, like, being able to confirm that, you know, this is what I got, but, uh, first one, some place called Overdose Gaming, uh, probably not an actual store, maybe, I don't know. Uh, we'll see, we'll see what we got here, but it's from California, so I'm surprised it got here as quickly as it did. Alright, well, that seems promising. Straight out of the gate, where is my exacto knife? Oh, let's not knock over all of my uh, all of my uh, weathering powder uh, containers. So let's uh, let's take that open. And yeah, so which one? What is this? This is literally just one card. It is. This is the random one Herald of Perfection that I had to get from uh, from a random source. Um, I decided to go with the ghosts for these. Uh, just because I, I really do actually kind of like the way they look as ghosts. Um, and it's the second most expensive version of the card, um, being like 3 or $4 a piece. The ulti first eds were what I was originally going like, to shoot for, but I just couldn't justify myself paying $13 for each of them when like this is going to be a fun deck for me. And honestly, I do really like the, I really like the ghost um, of it, like just because it seems pretty interesting. But anyway, okay, so that one, that one should be as... Uh, as advertised, I don't remember exactly what came in each of these. This came, this one's from ARG. Uh, I don't remember actually what specifically I ordered them from, but you can definitely tell which ones came in a more uh, professional-looking packaging and all that. And this one actually has an invoice with it that the cards are wrapped around in, so that's cool. Um, so which one of these? This is supposed to be the other two Herald of Perfection Ghosts. So I got really lucky and opened all of them back to back. I didn't even check my uh, my TCG player invoice. That just actually happened. That's cool. Um, okay, so I think these are fine. Um, I think these are fine as they are. These look to be... These are... That one is good. This one is good. I should probably check this one um, since it is in a sleeve. Um, with my experience, card, some cards that have been shipped to me in sleeves have been not the condition that was described. Uh, so just, you know, double checking. Never hurt anybody. Alright, so this next one is from No Limit Games, which is, uh, I've been hearing their name around a lot. I've got some friends that live up in Ohio that go to them, um, as, a, as an actual store. So, I don't know, let's see if, let's see if they actually sent me the things that I, uh, that I ordered. Uh, so there is my invoice that is actually really well, uh, really properly folded. And this one is a bunch of differentiating cards that I actually I actually needed one of these for the weekend so this is actually really good um, I actually definitely needed one for the weekend uh, like and I'm leaving literally in uh, in like eight hours uh, for when I'm filming this um, mate why did you send me a signed should all window um, and you sent me a Sephira that is very clearly damaged um, when, okay, that one's lightly played, that one's fine, but why is, why is this considered lightly played, and why does it have a fucking signature on it? I can actually remove this, but, like, that just triggers the shit out of me. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> he sent me a card with a goddamn signature on it, and this little, this little bit of wear at the top of the sphere is fine for lightly played, I guess, but it's definitely not something that I was, would have expected from a lightly played, um, establishment. So the one should all fusion and the one Utopia Beyond. Utopia Beyond is the card that I needed for the weekend because, you know, if I decide to play any pendulum events, um, or pendulum variants in uh, side events, definitely going to need the Utopia Beyond uh, to potentially, you know, just OTK through boards of Cosmos. But, alright, so this next one is just real from some random dude named Cornelius. <laughs> Literally. Um, just a random dude named Cornelius. They sent me a fucking signed Shadal Winda. What is this? Uh, if I could, if I couldn't remove that, I would be so upset. 
I would be the most upset. This is an odd way to ship cards. Instead of putting it in a top loader, they've taped it some, to some cardboard. Um, and it's in a sleeve, so I guess that's fine. Uh, but, like, still, not not what I would expect to be uh, ideal. Uh, but then again, this is just a random dude, so... I guess that is to be expected. This isn't, like, a top-rated TCG player, so this is literally just a random dude. I'm going to have to take this out of the sleeve because it's still taped to this piece of cardboard. So, a Star Seraf Sovereignty. Um, I don't know why these are still, like, three or four bucks, but they are. Um, so, uh... Yeah, this is, yep, literally just a Star Seraph Sovereignty. That's what the invoice says, so that's what I'm going to trust. Um, and so this next one, STF Gaming. That sounds like another made-up name of someone who just wants to sell on TCG Player. I mean, to be fair, I've sold, like, one card on TCG Player, and I think my I think my username is, like, Phoenix Gaming or something like that. Uh, it's something ridiculous. I just remember I sold, like, a Magic pre-release card that, uh, that I pulled a really expensive pre-release promo. Um... And so I uh, sold it. Um, so yeah. Well, at least at least the invoice looks uh, looks really good. Um, in terms of it has a header. I <laughs> mean, man, if it has a header, I'm sold. All right. So let's see. This is taped shut. Good. I I would rather have to cut this open than have to deal with the card literally half hanging out of the top loader, like ARGs was. You probably didn't see that on camera. Um, it was like a quarter of it, like this much of it, was hanging out of the uh, top loader in the package. I was like, oh. Let's, uh, let's be careful here. Alright, so this is Triple Star Seraph Scepter. So this obviously goes with Lay Sovereignty. Um, and obviously it's for that, uh, that ridiculous fairy deck uh, that I'm really keen to play. Um, damn it. Signed Shadal Window. Why? Alright, so last, last one of these packages. This is from Kerwin's Game Store. Alright. Well, this one's going to take some uh, potential uh, doing, uh, because this one is sent in a bubble mailer. I'm expecting this one to be, like, massive, because I can't remember what it is. Oh, man. They sent me they sent me a uh, an invoice and a flyer for if I'm randomly... Oh, get 10% off your next online order. Uh, use this coupon code, which I hope I'm not showing on screen, um, if you order directly from them. All right. Well, cool. Um, and this is, a, for, man, I was expecting this bubble mailer to be something huge. This is literally just two more cards. <laughs> Damn it. But, uh, it is definitely something that I required for the, uh, for the Shadal Train Conquest. Two of the three Sh uh, Shekinagas that I ordered. Um, I don't know if I'm going to play three in the build. I don't even know if I'm going to play Shadal Trains, but, I mean, might as well purchase this, right? Signed Shadal Window. At least these aren't fucking signed. <laughs> like, what is that garbage? I'm so happy that I know how to remove this without damaging the card. Or else, I would be so more triggered and upset than I am right now. So, interesting that the other uh, the other window, the two Shadal Fusion... I mean, I had to order most of this separately, but I mean... And piece it out from different stores. That's why there's 15 different packages. I literally just went with what got me the best deal. But still, signed though? And this is from an actual store. I would I would have, like, understood... If this had come from like random ass Cornelius man who taped this to the to the cardboard, um, like, but no, this came from a like reputable store, No Limit Gaming, that like has a like some sort of a preceding reputation, like, what? <laughs> well, at least I got all three of the heralds in one sitting. I'm still waiting on a Sephira, uh, still waiting on a bunch of other cards. I'm still still waiting on literally half my order, and the ones that I'm waiting for seem to be the bigger ones as well because like I had like. Three should all beasts, another should all fusion, all these different cards. But anyway, uh, that is that's it. That's literally all these different packages. All six of these came in the same day, so I was gonna open them all on one video. Uh, so let me know what you guys think about uh, the decks in question that I'm uh, building. Uh, let me know if you guys. I want to know if you like uh, how many of you like this rarity of Herald. I actually really like it. Um, like it's like the fake highest rarity of Herald. Um, because like ulti is obviously the rarest, but like this is ghost in gin in theory. So like in theory, it's the fake highest rarity. I just I really like how it looks. Um, like just because of the fact that it is a fairy and like fairy is like angel, and this is like ghostly, so it's like a spirit type, spiritual being type thing. I don't know. I'm probably talking out my ass, but anyway, that's it for this little mail day video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. And as always, guys, take care.